All right, you guys. So this is a package from Paint Some Way. Thank you, Paint Some Way, for sending this to me. Um, they let me get two paintings to show you guys. And yes, I opened them enough to know who they were from, and I wrote the name on it, so I didn't mix it up with anything. But they both have like a label like that on them. I got two AB paintings, so I'm sorry they don't have the prettiest drill filled on AB paintings. But they are two AB paintings. A 30 by 40 and a 40 by 60. So the 30 by 40, and these are soft sir canvases. Um, the 30 by 40 is a gorgeous hummingbird. And you get some of these tweezers. Um, this is a bigger multi-placer. I feel like that's larger than six. And a four-placer with the squishy on there and the boat with the funnel. I like the slightly upgraded toolkits. And these are, like I said, ABs, so we'll take a look at those in a minute. Sorry if you hear the dogs in the background. So, uh, apparently while I was trying to deal with the dog, we had another visitor. Did he step on the canvas? Come here. Come here, say hi. Okay, he's going to stand behind the camera. But, as I was trying to say, sorry if you hear the dog chewing on her bone and the other one's howling. But we got a gorgeous hummingbird. Look at him. So, isn't that pretty? And again, it actually goes this way. So one is C, then we have five on 15 there. Bunch of random letters and symbols. And again, you're gonna look at the drill field sideways like this. Again, I think it's a decent drill field. We got a D in red there. E's, G's. I think everything looks quite easy to see. So, really pretty hummingbird. And we'll go ahead and look at the drills. We have 30 colors. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this boat. Oops. <laughs> Shoved the tweezers through the bag. So I'm sitting down and I don't have it where I can see the camera sitting down. Sorry. We do have a label here for what painting it's for. It's interesting that it's more on the inside layer of the bag than the outside. Oh wow, I think we have quite a few ABs in this. So, we're gonna go ahead and put these. All right, so. These are all of our non-AB colors. Pretty color palette. And then for our ABs, we have an orange, a white. Oh, sorry. This is a non AB color that goes there. A pink, a blue, and another gray light blue. So, pretty color palette creams, creams and reds, blues and browns. Now we're going to go ahead and look at what we got here. Darkest, dark, dark, lighter, lighter. There's a little static in the uh, AB drills. They're definitely clinging to the bag a bit. Not 100% sure if I should say it's the drills or maybe it's my desk because 
I remember telling you guys that there was some cling to this desk, to the paintings, so. AB 30 by 40 Hummingbird comes with five colors. This one here in the orange looks a little off from the rest. Probably wouldn't use that because the others have a brown hue that just looks like an uncoated orange almost. Top two look extremely similar. And then you have this one which has a very, very light pink to it and then the white there. So, very pretty colors. I don't think I'll mind these having a blue, blue-green hue to them for this painting. For normal animals, I do not like these being this color, but I think that looks good for this one. So, that's the colors you have to deal with for this hummingbird. And they were a little staticky. I don't know if it's just them or if it's this desk. So like I said, this desk seemed like it's static to the paintings when I started filming here. So that's our first painting. Did I put the drills away without putting the ABs in it? Did I really do that? Oh boy. You guys probably saw me put this away without having put its drills away with it. Go me. Apparently my brain is not wanting to function right now. That's a pretty bird though for us. Yeah, I can feel the stack on the desk like this. It was clinging to the desk. to the big one. So, I had another Rainbow Girl painting that you guys liked, so I thought this Rainbow Girl might be a nice addition. And again, thank you Paint Some Way for the paintings. So, again, she's going to look better with drills on her. Again, same boat as the last one. So this is definitely a better starter set. You get a four placer. I think that's like a nine placer. A pen with a squishy on it, a boat with a funnel, and some tweezers. Definitely a better starter set than these ones. Look at her. Hopefully this isn't too dark right here going to this eye. Like that's the only thing I'm really seeing right now that I'm worried about. But she looks gorgeous. So with this, I now have two Rainbow Ladies, and I was curious if anybody would like to work on Rainbow Ladies with me later on, like, not the next few months, but... So I'd really like to see both these Rainbow Ladies done. I'd really like to see a lot of paintings done, I know. But I do have paintings I want to do in the near future, so it'd have to be a bit off. Pretty lady. And it fits so nicely as a desk mat. <laughs> Sorry. She is gorgeous. She has 40 colors. So W, D, X. It's a circle with a dot or a square in the middle. Sorry. N, R, E, U, lines, music notes. Lowercase A, lowercase E, 7 over there on 22. Not bad symbols or anything. And the drills are kind of just a little thrown in here. 
So that's okay. We're going to go through them anyway. A lot of red colors in this lady, apparently. This is brownish color. So apparently there is a lot of red type shades, pink red shades in this lady. We have a really dark one, a lighter one. It's kind of pink red, this red, this one's a red, darker pink, more pink. That's kind of like a salmon color, more pink, more pink, more pink. So yeah, those are all like pink reds. And then you have like skinnish color looking ones here. Uh, purple, brown. This one's a really dark purple. And you got like that color. And then this one's like a light purplish color to it. These are kind of your mustardy orange yellows here. I thought she was more rainbow, but she really is a lot of pink colors and blue colors. Like the blue goes into a greenish hue, but never downright green. By the way, the boy's throwing a tantrum because his blankie is in the wash. He doesn't have a favorite toy. He has a favorite blankie. Don't close it before putting the ABs in it this time. Okay. So for ABs, I'm not too fond of the choices. These are both like black blue colors. And while with the hummingbird, I don't think they're going to look bad with like a blue green to them. With a human, if these blue greens are anywhere in the face, I'm going to dislike it. That's a personal thing. I don't like the dark ABs. I know some other people don't like the dark ABs either. The purple, like a purple green, maybe not bad again, as long as it's not in the face, right? And then the gray one with that and the orange one. I don't mind like those I just I really don't like the dark dark ones but again as long as it's not in here I'm not going to complain too much about like green blue hair so we'll see what it looks like again that's just a personal preference on dark babies I know a lot of people like ABs. I am one that doesn't really care for ABs all too much. I think sometimes they give a little bit extra use sparingly, but I'm one of those that's like a use sparingly ingredients and preferably something that looks more normal, like the pinks and the creams, cause they look like pearls. So like a stained glass window or something where it has a blue green hue to it and you want a blue green hue, maybe a stained glass window would be good in a full AB, even it with the dark colors, but I'm sorry about the baby. Yes, he's the baby. We have a puppy, but he's a baby. He's just a big baby. He never grew up. He got bigger, not older. You know, the whole stereotype about males getting older, never growing up. He's that. He's a sweetheart, though. Here's our colors. Again, one. this is 939, um, 8 two, three, and you can see how similar they look. And then the purple at the bottom, you can't tell that's a purple anymore. That is this five, five, zero, which again, I'm pretty sure most of us are familiar with five, five, zero. And then you got your orange, 
which is 720 and your gray which is 318 but can you see how the blues and purple just look like a green blue so that's why I don't like the um, darker colors that green blue does not look right in faces or in fur in my opinion with her being as colorful like this as she is if the green blues are out here or in the butterflies it might not matter at all but if it's in her face I am changing it out I am NOT putting these in face or fur this dark color I've learned my lesson with one of the paintings I did I am NOT putting dark ABs in faces or furs it's just not for me some other people might love it I don't personally but that being said I think the lady is a gorgeous painting I personally think I would have made one of these reds the AB, not the black, or even the yellow or orange. Well, they already have an orange AB, but like a yellow red AB instead of the black ABs, I think I'd do. Like leave the gray, leave the orange. If you want to, leave the purple because purple should not be in her face, but change the two black colors out to a, uh, a pinkish, one of these pinkish red colors. Maybe one of the actual blue colors, because then the blue hue on it would look fine. So one of these teal green blue colors. That's what I would have done with the ABs personally on this one. But again, we don't know until we work on her. And I'll give you guys a better look at her in a second. Starting an AB collection in my pen. I'm going to show them to you, and I'm going to throw them in the pen. So, this might look interesting when we're done with enough paintings, if I don't lose it first. <laughs> okay, so here we have the canvas number. I do think she's going to look pretty. So let's give you another look at this. Here's what you have. Look at all those nice rainbow colors. As long as this side of the face doesn't get too dark, because it does have a pinkish hue on it, you can see that, but as long as it doesn't get too dark. And then you can see there's a butterfly up here, and then like two butterflies there, a third one there. So I think she should be really pretty. And again, she goes this way for working on her, which I'd rather work on her this way. So I will be working on this canvas sideways because I like my canvas is going lengthwise like that. This desk fits her like this just fine. The desk I work at does not. So again, nice clear drill field. I don't think you're going to have any issues with this. And a little worried about how the eyes will look, but again, these canvases don't look as pretty yet, so hopefully it'll turn out. You can see you do have your dummy circle, guide circles, whatever you want to call them, but she looks like she's going to be nice to work on. And she just makes me want to make her into like a desk mat, put a piece of glass over her and make her into a desk mat like that. She'd be so pretty on the desk, wouldn't she? Uh, yeah again thank you paint some way hopefully you guys like these all the links will be in the description for you and thank you guys for watching hopefully you have a nice day night morning and hopefully your day night morning continues to go well uh go check these out if you like them and maybe we could work on her together or um colorful lady um, also, if you like and you haven't, go ahead and hit the subscribe. We're close to a thousand. So, again, thank you everybody that is watching, that has watched, and everybody that continues to watch. And I definitely have more for you.